Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this will be Pisces, Sun, Moon and uh, Rising, monthly tarot reading for June uh, 2019 and uh, bear with me just a second guys to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight away uh, to the spread. So uh, the first card, which represents the topic for your Pisces month, this is going to be the Six of Swords, followed by the second card, which uh, represents the peripheral activities um, <clears throat> for you to follow if you decide to do so. That will be the Nine of Cups. Third card for you, uh, Pisces, which uh, represents the challenges uh, that you will have to face for throughout the month. That will be the Seven of Pentacles. Followed by the uh, fourth card here, which is the uh, positive aspect of the month that the month gives you. That will be the uh, Ace of Wands. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tsaro is offering to you for throughout the month of June. That will be the Eight of Swords. So once again, the first one is going to be, uh, which stands uh, for a um, topic of the month. That will be the Six of Swords. Followed by the second one, which stands for peripheral activities here, that will be the Nine of Cups. The third one, it is the challenges that you will have to face throughout the month. This will be the Seven of Pentacles. Afterwards, that will be the Ace of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect of the month. And the last one uh, for you, that will be the Guidance, Eight of Swords. And uh, Pisces, it looks like that this is going to be quite of a crazy month, but uh, a month with a lot of dynamics, right? So many things are going to move around, many things are going to happen. And uh, I, I do believe that this uh, month will involve an a awesome opportunity coming in your way. It's, it's going to be something like a establishing a new beginning, you know, a very, uh, either a very tempting offer or a circumstances that are arranging in such a way that you can make a, a big move, very, um, how can I display a very bold move rather or heroic move moving on forward to improve your circumstances due to the fact that you are to realize, you know, that, that nothing is holding you where you are. All right. So this is the only thing that keeps you back is realizing that nothing is holds you obliged to the place where you are and you can definitely traverse a certain threshold that will allow you to uh, further improve your circumstances, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And so this is described with the first card here, Six of Swords. So I want to make a point with the Six of Swords. What we do see in the picture are two people really shrouded here with cloaks uh, moving toward an unknown shore. Now, this card describes the threshold like that, that I spoke of, that everybody at a certain stage of their life needs to traverse. This threshold usually is accompanied with um, a fear of the unknown, okay? Because you don't know what is going to happen after you provoke or rather enforce this new era in your life. But in reality, 
everything is better than what you are uh, than than um you know the situation that you are finding yourself in so how you're going to recognize where this is going to taking place well it is taking place at a uh, at a situation where you have nothing more to gain from okay and everything else it's simply better so this is where the months really is going to focus which you makes you very fortunate in the term of that should your uh, marriage be on the rock then this car represents an, an improvement in your own personal circumstances not in the marriage uh, circumstances but into your own personal circumstances should your career be on the rock then this card displays exactly that improvement into your personal circumstances could you describe new job that is the accompanied card that will be the page of uh, pentacles here and the formation it is a active enemies so uh, the page of pentacles adds a shade to the six of swords as a uh, insight and realization from your behalf then uh, trying to develop this thing that you are uh, holding on to uh, for quite some time now it's simply ain't worth it because the page of pentacles um, asks you to see if the um, if the means does justify the results and as no results are in present it's obviously you know that you will have to do something different or you have to do you, you have to go for something new and throughout this month you're gonna have this opportunity to go for something new this is described in the ace of in the ace of wands uh which we're gonna go in a few minutes to but you need to know that despite at the start of the month your situation may look like frightening and that you can lose a lot from it you know in reality you can only gain if you are determined you know to do what is what is needed in order to traverse the threshold of fear you know or in other, in another words to stray for anything new that comes in your way you can only gain from those uh, from those situations you know new suite or new job new project uh, a new way of how marriage is going to be established and so on and so forth now uh, the uh, second card here Pisces which represents your peripheral activities you know things that you can go for should you find the time and find them appealing or things that you can completely skip uh, which are not going to influence in any way the main direction of your month that is the nine of wands nine of uh, cups excuse me so what the nine of cups here points is that you can satisfy some um, trifling wishes that you do have let's say that you uh so much want to go and see that movie into the cinema you will be able to fulfill that you know or you so much want to see an, an old friend of yours you will be able to do so or you so much want to socialize with particular person you can do so and so on and so forth those kind of activities you know which are not benefiting you in the long run or they can but we're going to talk about that in a in a minute but you know you can do without them as well so you can make a lot of improvements in your life in your peripheral life through that card one thing you need to know with the nine of cups however is that uh this uh wish fulfillment or rather sensual joy that you're going to experience from these interactions or enterprises or endeavors you know because that could be you know indulging more into your hobby okay if you find the time for so uh this uh sensual joy that you're going to experience is going to be just short short lasting unless you don't keep on performing into this field so um the joy will be you will be uh from the nine of cups is going to be just as long uh the duration is going to be just as long as as long as you are uh, incorporating yourself into these activities uh the accompanied card here that will be the magician and the formation it is a, a passive neutrals so a uh, very buffering um combo by the way uh very buffering synergies in between these couple of cards now the magician has no shade whatsoever into the uh, nine of cups unless unless it does point that you may get used to these things so much that they can become an addiction to you in a sense of that you know you get used so much with uh, socializing with this person that you are feeling very miserable afterwards you know not having time to do so so you have to be careful here with these couple of cards you know how big value you are giving to these trifles trifles because i'm because i mean it they are trifling activities and they should be uh, in a value of trifles 
five fours in your life. Okay, so if it is something that you cannot live without, it is best to leave it for the other months to indulge yourself in. And right now, be, uh, you will have to focus more upon improving your circumstances through making those uh, rather bold and drastic actions that are required. Now, the third card here represents the challenges that you will need to overcome. And so we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles points that the month is going to be very active. So you are rarely going to have the time to catch up your breath, which is a challenge because you will not as well have time to, uh, let's say, establish a, a solid strategy of how to move along. Basically, the card here points that you will have to think of uh, your actions on the fly, on go, the living day for day uh, activity, if I may express myself that way, and you cannot keep on with a, 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 a strict convic uh, convictions, uh, if that's the word, all right? So everything is going to happen so fast. Everything is going to be so dynamic, you know, that if you create a plan today for tomorrow, when you wake up tomorrow, you know, things are going to be so different that your, that your plan can be thrown in the dumpster and you will have to redo your strategy once again. So best way you can cope with all that is if you are playful, if you are adaptable, you know, and if you don't wait for signs. That is also very important. You may wait for some sort of an activity to uh, present itself that it is just around the corner and that activity may either never come or that uh, event either may not may never come or if it comes, it's going to be way too late. So you will have to be initiative throughout the month instead of uh, very passive and waiting. Uh, the accompanied card here, that will be the Queen of Swords. The formation, it is a, uh, a passive, uh, passive enemies. So the Queen of Swords points uh, uh, as a shade to the uh, Seven of Pentacles. It does point that you don't need any more uh, confirmation and it's going to be a rather big, uh, big difficulty for you to uh, act upon your... Uh, it, it's, it will seem like an intuition. Now, that is the thing. It will seem like an intuition, all right? But it isn't. Uh, what it is in reality is your previous experience, poignant experience that you have to endure throughout uh, throughout your life. And that experience is going to kick in for throughout this month. So uh, if you are involved in a similar situation that you do had a, let's say, 10 years ago, and you very well kind of like will have that inner, inner guidance and inner wisdom, you know, how to react upon the situation and instead of... Um, spending valuable time to think about it, you need to uh, trust on your instinct. So it's not intuition, but it is more like an instinct that you have developed throughout uh, throughout your life. And now you will have to trust your instincts. But definitely we're talking about here a big initiative and as well a, a lot of activities uh, from your behalf that needs to be exerted if you want to truly traverse the threshold and find new shores to conquer, like new relationships, new job, new projects, and so on and so forth. And that will be presented to you as a gift. I mean, the opportunity, because the Ace of Wands is the positivity throughout the month. In the Ace of Wands, it is expressing exactly that, a gaining for enterprise and an, uh, and an awesome opportunity that promises new beginning. Additionally to that, however, the Ace of Wands points that the whole situation is going to be a little bit chaotic, chaotic but as a uh, falls into a positive position, Pisces, it means that you will have the, an opportunity or rather the chance to control the chaos, meaning that you are going to be a very strong person because only the weak people are striving toward order. The strongest one, they prefer to rule the chaos, and this is what you will have an opportunity to do so. Additionally to that, the Ace of Wands points that you are going to find out throughout the month that you are very good at something to do, all right? It could be a professional skill or personal skill or a hobby, it doesn't matter, that you had no idea until this very moment. So you are going to discover a, a slumber talent and those talents, when put to use, are going to severely wider, you know, your... Um, it's, it's well-being and it's not, well, I don't know the English word, but let's say it's going to wider your capabilities, you know, to, um, to make yourself successful in the world. 
the accompanied card here that will be the four of uh, the four of wands the formation it is a uh, active supporters and what the four of wands uh, it does represents as the uh, shade to the ace of wands it points that uh, with these new arsenal of skills and that opportunity new enterprise gaining for one that it is offered to you that will be the seal of the deal. This is going to be the, the, the uh, finalization of an important cycle of development. And after this cycle of development, you know, you traverse a threshold and uh, forcing a new era in your life and finding new things to conquer. But the um, Four of Wands uh, as a shade to the uh, Ace of Wands, it does says also one more important thing. It says that you've done everything right, that you haven't left anything overlooked, that you haven't left anything unnoticed, anything unattended. So if, for example, your relationship isn't working out and this throughout this month you do have an opportunity for another relationship, you know, with someone else and uh, you are seriously considering it, but you are reluctant to jump into it because you are feel bad that you are abandoning someone. With these couple of cards here, you need to know that you did everything you could. And if that relationship isn't happening, it is the other one's fault, okay? So if you decide, as a matter of fact, these cards are asking you to decide, you know, to go in the favor of your personal well-being, uh, you should not feel guilty of it. Because if you don't take care for your own happiness, believe me, no one else will. It's just, it's just how the world works. It's no one else is going uh, is gonna to do it. So you will have to do it for your own sake. And the last card here, which is uh, the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering to you, that will be the Eight of Swords. So I said it um, previously, the Eight of Swords as a guidance says that. Mm. If the truth, if recognizing the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you, right? So uh, what the Eight of Swords here really asks you to realize is that um, in this situation that you're finding yourself stuck, you're finding yourself stuck because you're either believing in that miracle, it's going to happen, which will never happen, or, uh, you know, you just like to be tormented in. What I mean here is, is that you just need to want, you, you just need to want to get out of it and you can't get out of it. Only your thoughts, you know, and your, um, how can I display it, um, your unwillingness to look outside of the box is holding you into it. And uh, only you can liberate yourself. So the Eight of Wands here asks you to uh, realize that there are other options available. If uh, I have to follow the example of the unsuccessful relationship, you have to realize that there is no that, that this is not the only woman in the world, or this is not the only man in the world that can make you happy. All right, but there are so many others. And why wasting time with someone who is unwilling, you know, to make you happy? Um, and to, um, instead of, you know, making something for your own happiness or taking care for your own happiness. The accompanied uh, card here, that will be the Six of uh, Wands, uh, of Cups, excuse me, the Six of Cups. So uh, the formation, it is a, an active neutrals that we do have. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a, an effort from your behalf to recognize the truth. And uh, in this specific example that I'm following, the truth is to be that this person, for example, never and doesn't wish to make you happy. Or even if they wish to make you happy, they're incapable to do so because this is what their character is and so on and so forth. And yeah, it's not going to be an easy decision with the Six of Cups falling as a neutral to the Ace of Wands, uh, to the Eight of Wands, uh, Eight of Swords, excuse me. It's not going to be a pleasant one, but it's going to be a necessary one so you can just leave in the past or live behind behind your back a, a situation that holds you back all right and that does not allow you to grow uh, in any way in this specific field and just moving forward into more pleasant and into more promising land for you to conquer so that being said Pisces this was your monthly tarot reading for a uh, June 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other next time until then bye